I don't know where we're going to... Ah! Sounds creepy. <laughs> oh, God. What was that? What was that? Turn the fan back on. Turn the fan back on. Ah! Ah, I don't like it. Oh, this is nasty, this game. This is nasty. Welcome back, everyone. Grogen here. And today we are back with the door in the basement. Now, the first episode of this, it was kind of good. We, um... It's creepy. It's creepy. We... We went through a door in the basement. We were collecting boxes to take upstairs. We got the first three. And then the fourth one wasn't there. We found a door that appeared in the room we were in. And we followed it down. We got chased by a fellow with a knife. There's some big spiders. There's loads of creepy noises. The jump scares haven't been too bad. Not bad. But the ambience, like the 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 atmosphere is so creepy. So we're going to carry on where we left off. So we are going to go through this door. We came through that way, I think. And then we found this little door here. We have got a note on the chair, on the table, on the box. <laughs> what am I saying? Patient Benjamin Taylor. The patient likely suffers PTSD, brought on by discovering the bodies of his fellow campers during a weekend trip they took to Green Valley Forest. Over four weeks, the over, over four weeks of observation, the patient's condition has not improved. So we'll move on to cognitive behavioral therapy for the next eight to twelve weeks. Eight to twelve weeks. Wow. Right. So. I don't know what we've got to do here, but this is a mad place to end up coming through your basement. The size of that drop. Well, we found a little passageway to... What was that? We found a little passageway to the left. We can go across there and hopefully not fall off. Not fall off. Right, we've got another little gap here. This doesn't look like there's anything here. There's a pickaxe. Is that a gap in the wall? No. It looks like there's drag marks there. Right, let's keep going. This one hasn't got a railing on, so I'm a bit more wary that we're gonna fall off. I thought we weren't getting up there then. I don't know what that noise is. I don't know what that noise is. And I still don't know who's put all these lights down here. But there's a man with no face that someone keeps telling us about. And he says, don't worry. So yeah, naturally, naturally we worry. Right, hey, nothing in this room. We've got a little g crawly gap that we got to get through, though. I don't know whether it's cold in here, right? Or if this just... The noise is everything in this game. It's just giving me goosebumps on my arms. What's that on the floor there? Oh, it's a lantern. Well, there's a crate here, and it looks like something's broke out of it, which is never good. <laughs> right? <laughs> never good. We've got some... Looks like antlers in the ceiling. We have? we got antlers? Okay. Okay keep going let's keep going it's kind of like a bit of a walking simulator this as well because there's only one direction you can really go i mean there was a uh oh oh run run you can't see if he's coming because the light oh are we outside we made it out i don't know it doesn't look like this is going to be the end of it but we made it outside well he doesn't seem to be coming Got a fire in the middle of water. <laughs> We're just going to follow the lights. We're just going to follow the lights and see where we end up. This is a more open world kind of, isn't it? We've got a bonfire. I don't like this. Right, there's another one that way. Shall we just keep following these? I think. I think. What the hell is that? That's like a giant skeleton. Oh, we got to go and see that. It is. Look, there's some hands. Oh, what have we got ourselves into here? And there's a big, a big bonfire. Oh, there's another. Oh. Are we outside? We are. We are outside, but we're going back in. Looks like we're in a sewer. Looks like we're in a sewer. Um, what's this? A computer screen? With a note. This place makes no sense. You're telling me? <laughs> I thought we were somewhere deep underground, but one of the tunnels opened up into a marsh. Steep rock walls surrounded, but it very much has the feeling of being outside. Climbing up the walls seems impossible. I found colossal skeletons partially submerged in the dirt. One of them looks almost human, but it's missing a face. At the entrance, I saw a statue seeming to this defy... Defy? Defy the creature. Whatever these things are... They've been here for a very long time. Marcus. I heard noises as well. Right, turn the telly off. Who's leaving the telly on in here? 
Right, so we got a passageway this side with a locked gate, which doesn't make any difference anyway because it's not in there. It's like a little prison cell. What is this? Whoa, the noises. Okay, nothing in there, just a bit of water. Having a little bit of a shower while we're in here. Okay, let's go. Oh, it's calling us. It's calling us. It's selling us the pressure as well. Do we want to? Go oh, touch it. Talk to the hand. <laughs> Secrets for the eyes. You're unwilling to give up your eyes at this moment. Come back with eyes. Okay. So we need to bring some eyes. Oh, we've got to bring some eyes back. Right, this one is going to be locked as well. That has got a door in there though, so I'm guessing we're going to come back that way. Maybe. Have we got a door up this side? Open. There's some big, big fans. Right, I reckon we might have to turn something off and get through there. That's my first thoughts. Anyway, the radio's not on. Hey, let's go. We've got a set of stairs on the left and a door to the right. And we have got... We've got an eye. Right, we're probably best taking that back, aren't we? I'd imagine. We go and give him an eye. Right, the hand wakes up. Talk to the hand. Secrets for the eyes. You hand over an eye you found. Okay. The inhabitants of this place do what they can to feed it. But it's very old and the task is never ending. But as long as your world has existed, ours has been here waiting to receive its harvest. So what, like a harvest of eyes? Sounds creepy. <laughs> uh, right, let's go. So, we'll go and do the doorway first. And then we'll go and do... No, let's do the stairs first. Let's go up the stairs. Okay, we've got a door up here. We've got a note on the table. Oh. Patient Benjamin Taylor. I asked the patient to describe the animal attack he witnessed at Green Valley Forest. He told me that a monster was responsible for the attack. He described the attacker as having large antlers and standing upright on two legs. However, it was far away and moving back into the trees. Hey, we got blood everywhere in this place. Hey, we got a, a empty a shroom with a lever. That's going to do the fans, I think. Right? Change speed. Hey, we're going to have to go and have a quick look down there to see if the speed makes any difference to what it was doing but I'm thinking we need to change the speed the other way and stop it possibly it doesn't seem to have done anything unless no nothing nothing I was wondering if it was going to be like you know those things where you put a picture in the thing and spin it around and then you see something like an image I was wondering if it was going to be something like that Right, we have changed the speed right down to the bottom now. Uh oh, did we shut that door? I don't think we did. No, I don't know whether to shut that door. <laughs> I don't know whether to shut that door. Right, let's get in. Oh, God. Is that another note on the table? I think it is. Read it. Splitting up to look for answers hasn't been working. On our own, we've both been attacked by a tall, shambling creature. We were able to get away, but I think we should stick together from now on. While we were apart, as all we found a knife. It's not very effective against these creatures, but it could be useful later. Right, so we've got to find the knife. And there's a, a big creature, so... We don't have a weapon, right? So we might just have to turn and run if we see something. What was that? What was that? Hey, there's nothing in this room. Ah, shit! Oh, God! Run! Run! No wonder he was running. Where are we going to go, though? Turn the fan back on. Turn the fan back on. Do 
we get his eyes if he gets chopped up by the thing? But watch, he's going to be in here. He's probably got through it already. Where did he go? What the hell? What the hell? I don't know whether we need to go back through there. <laughs> I don't know whether we need to go back through there. Let's try this door. Let's try this door. Right, right, we got nothing on this table. Oh, we got another little wanted room. We're going to save it. <laughs> We're going to save it before we die. <laughs> Game saved. Close. Right, there's still loads of wanted missing posters. We've got to do something with this, right? I think if we walk into that, we're going to die. But there's no other way to go. So we're going to have to turn it back off and go and see the monster. I don't really want to do this, you know. Don't really want to do this. Do we really want to do this? Do we really want to do this? Did that thing chase us? Where did it go? It's coming, it's coming. This is what we gotta do, I know it, I know it. We just gotta maybe figure out how to make him come far enough to get chopped up. This hasn't worked, has it? This hasn't worked. We need to get him closer. I think. Right, we're not getting through it while it's moving. So we're going to have to just... <laughs> we got to go back. we got to go back. Wonder if he's a bit closer this time. No, he's gone all the way back there. Run, 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 run. This way. He doesn't seem to be able to get through. Let's see, if we move out the way and he turns around and walks back, we might have to... He's gone back that way. He just walked into the wall. <laughs> I think he's a bit broke. We can probably run around this table and escape him, can't we? We're gonna go around the opposite way as him. Run, 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 run. Is he gonna catch us? Is he gonna catch us? Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. I don't know where he is. I don't know if he's still coming over. Oh, there's different directions to go. There's another one. We're just going to have to keep running. Ah, I don't like it. <laughs> keep going. I don't even know where we're heading to. Let's get across these floors. I think we might be safe if we get across these. Oh, we did it, we did it, we did it. Right, I think we're okay. Oh, this is nasty, this game. This is nasty. Okay, well, we can't jump. 
So we can't get across this? Maybe. There's a door over there, but I don't know how we get to it. There's got to be levers or something, right? Right, well, we're up on... We're above what we were doing. Oh, we got three levers. We got three levers. <gasps> There's someone down there. Oh, is he going to come this way? Right, that's that one. That's that one. Okay, so we can get across to there now. So we might have to go over to this side and do them ones. Okay, so that gets us to there. Right, that looks like... That looks like we can get all the way across, but we don't get that door on the left. There must be a way. There must be a way. Right, that's that one. There we go. We can get to the door and we can get to the other side. So that's both ways now. Right, a little bit of a puzzle which we solved. Shit, we fell off. <laughs> I was rushing. <laughs> oh no, the last checkpoint. Continue. Press any key. Oh, we gotta go and do these again. We gotta go and do them again. Alright. A few moments later. What the hell? Right, we got the first one. We've done the second one. Right, we're going to go through this door. I'm hoping this is like a save. Oh, you know what? We've just done that and we can't even go through it. <laughs> we probably just opened the door for some demon or monster to come and find us. That one's done. Right, this looks a bit more straightforward now. We're not going to fall off, right? Be funny if there was like something up the top turning them as you're trying to get across them. Right, let's go across to. It doesn't look like this. Uh, I do not like this. That looks like someone's locked up in that door. There's a lantern. Nothing else there. I know we found a note. Read it. Zoe's got missing. We found a place to hide and get some sleep. But when I woke up, Zoe was nowhere to be found. I've searched the surrounding area over and over again. It's been days now. She's just gone. I'm alone again, Marcus. Sucks for you, Marcus. I'm alone too. <laughs> I'm alone too. Climb up the ladder. BP noise on the ladder. Hey, right, we are back up. Oh, we got a skull. We got a door. We got a save room. I've been going like 20 odd minutes again, and I think, I think this could be a good place for us to end. And then maybe we'll finish it in the next episode, possibly. I don't know. I don't know how long this game is. But we've still got loads of missing posters. We've got Austin, Charlotte, Henry, Richard, and Marcus. He's the same one again? No, Austin. And a little kid. So we've got loads of missing people still. And we are still, we've died once. We've died once. We've jumped a little bit. And it's been... Them, them monsters are creepy, you know, even though we haven't done nothing. <laughs> but that's where we're finishing. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. It really does mean a lot. Hope you are enjoying the series so far. If you're new to the channel, if you are enjoying it, please hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed the episodes, hit the thumbs up and drop some comments down below. Let us know what you think. I want to say a massive thank you to all the people who've signed up on the Patreon and joined as members. It really does mean a lot. Thank you so much. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, everyone. Bye.